I don't know why I make that noise. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome up uh, to another video. It's Eric. It's Eric. Is that a good intro? Anyways, I'm recording this on my iPhone in my office, um, so the image quality is probably not great. That's my little dear friend up there with an espresso machine and a fake plant from Ikea. But as you guys know, um, I ended up buying this Fujifilm X-T3 and I got the 1614 on here. But what you guys don't know is that I had to replace... Hold on. I had... This GX850. It's a good camera right here, um, but I don't like it. So what I decided to do, because I want to share lenses from this, not necessarily this lens, but other lenses I'm going to get, going to make videos about, I have, I want to share it with a different camera. So what I ended up doing, flipping through Facebook Marketplace, making things happen, I came across somebody local in the area that was selling an OG XE1. I had an XE3 back in the day. I shot some photos um, that are actually hanging in my house somewhere off an XE3, love the camera. That was a different sensor. I think it's a 24 megapixel sensor on that XE3. This X-T3 has a 26 megapixel sensor um, and they're amazing. But for me, the everyday carry, the throwaway camera, it's gotta be something cheap, lightweight. It's gotta be able to take decent photos. And it's just gotta be fun. So I ended up picking up this bad boy right here, the Fuji X-E1. Now this is this is the original, I think it's a 16 megapixel X-Trans sensor. So I think we're three or four generations removed from what's in my X-T3. Um, not shooting with this lens, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to see both cameras putting on the 16 millimeter f1.4 lens. I wanted to see what are the actual differences. S sorry about the interruption. What I want to do is I want to take a few photos using the same lens on both cameras. I want to see just... Optically, optically, practically, what the differences are. I'm going to shoot them all in JPEG. Um, same settings for each camera. Auto white balance. Um, I'll set the aperture and I'll set the shutter speed and I'll set the ISO or at least the same exposure. So if the ISO is different because there's, there's different readings, it shouldn't be. But I don't know. Maybe that's something about ISO I don't understand. Anyways. I'm gonna take a few pictures of random crap around my basement and just see how different they really are. This is gonna be pixel peeping. Um, Cause what I'm curious is, is for somebody like myself or like you that might be interested in a camera, do you need to go spend whatever this costs, $1,300 for the body and this lens a grand? Or could you go spend $150 and pair it with maybe one of the uh, F2 primes or something like that? This isn't a comparison of the prime lenses, but it's just, I want to see different, how much different is this? Now, there's so much more to a body than just rendition. I mean, this doesn't focus as fast. Does, there's a lot. Auto white balance, I can already tell you, is a little different. But if you're just going to play around and take pictures of, like, your family or on vacation that you're not going to have to, like, catch sports, what's the real practical difference in terms of output? Let's take a look. <clears throat> All right, so I took a the photos, um, same settings for every shot you're about to see on the two different cameras with the same lens at the same aperture. All the stuff is exactly the same. What's interesting, um, again, all in JPEG, so all the internal processing by the camera, what it's doing. Um, these are very different sensors. They're different cameras. Um, and of course, the body capabilities of the X-T3 are far, far, far superior to the X-T1. But like I said, if you're looking for a camera, just cheap, beat up, throw around, toss around. How much different image quality you're really getting. Um, and so what I want to show you guys, I'm going to start putting these up and comparing them to you guys. I'm not going to label them. And I want you guys to see if you can see the difference. I'll leave them up for like three or four seconds each. Uh, and as I'm talking here, I'll put them up. But look at the two. I mean, color is a little different. Um, the way they handled the ISO was a little bit different. You see exposure differences in a couple of these. Um, but honestly, for snapshots... I think these look great um, and they're all, all usable. I think the big difference is what your keep rate is going to be in terms of focusing, focusing speed, focusing accuracy, high ISO performance. Um, but other than that, I mean, I, mean I, I can't, for example, I can't get cam images off this camera through Wi-Fi. I have to plug in the SD card on my phone to get them down. But the last one I want to show you guys here is the, uh, I'm going to zoom into these pictures of Johan Franz in the face. These were all shot at 3200 ISO. And interestingly enough, I want you guys to see what you think of the noise performance. And 
I don't know how much different you think it is. I want, I'll make conclusions here. I want you guys to tell me what you think. Now that you've had a chance to look at them both, I'm going to tell you that the one on the left was the XE1, and the one on the right was the XT3. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below how much better or worse were the XT1 images over the XT3 images. Again, such a different, this is not a scientific test. I was in my house in low light, not great scenario, but just image quality comparison. If I was outdoors, would it be different? Sure. Was I in even lower light, would it be different? Absolutely. But just straight in-camera JPEG image quality. What do you guys think? Let me know. Uh, and I have a couple lenses coming over the next week, so we'll do some comparisons there as well. All right, guys, see you next time. I appreciate it. Peace.